Well, hello. I hope that this video is finding you in good health and in good spirits. Got a question for the cards today. Now that the uh, Republican House of Congress has passed the Ukraine aid bill, um, and it will be delivered as soon as you know President Biden uh, signs off on it, so I believe it still has to pass through the Senate, which I don't think anybody's expecting that there will be a problem. The real hang up was in the House. How is this going to factor in for Ukraine? Of course, we're getting to the start of the summer fighting se season and uh, it won't take long for the supplies to come in from uh, the US. Actually, those supplies are already in Europe. I forget how many bases that the Americans have in uh, US locations. You know, you look at a map, they're all over Germany and that sort of stuff. So there's all kinds of places. And uh, what they need immediately and kind of right away is ammunition, which would be supplied on probably every American base. So it won't take long. I wouldn't be surprised at all if they got the trucks half loaded right now, just waiting for the president's signature. And, you know, then it's all, all points go. So... <clears throat> that is not going to be the delay here. Um, it's just a matter of is it going to be there in time or have the Ukrainians lost too much. Now, they haven't completely run out of ammunition, although they have like in individual sorties, but they've really been rationing it uh, for fear that they would run out. So this will open up their abilities to take on the offensive, and uh, to continue to defend their infrastructure and their citizenry. So that's the question I have for the cards today is, now that we've had kind of a changing of the water on the beans, if you will, it's, um, I'd like to know how's the fighting season gonna go for Ukraine? It's been a while since we've done a reading on Ukraine and I just wanna cut the cards here. Now, the deck that I am using today is uh, one I haven't used on the list yet, but it's the Glory to Ukraine Tarot by Sestri Feldman, uh, who's a Ukrainian uh, artist. And this is um, put out by Pentagram Publishing. I know uh, a lot of you are regular viewers of this channel know that this is a company that I support. I pretty much buy every deck that they put out because I am quite sure that having a bit of Western hard currency in the coffers is probably helping in a wartime economy. So this is my little bit of support to the nation of Ukraine. I'm going to do a full review on the deck because it's a little bit different. Um, and it'll probably be published next week. But let's get down to the question that we have for the cards, which is how is this summer fighting season going to go for Ukraine? And the first card that we have up is the Six of Wands and it's in a reverse position. And this is a card that's about losing. It's the victory card, but reversed. So, I wouldn't put that a lot of stake. This is not the final outcome. This is the signifier card. And, you know, you, Ukraine's been invaded. Hello? They already lost. They are starting from a losing position. And they hadn't managed to expel the invaders from the 2014 uh, incursion into their territory. Um, so, yes, they are definitely in a six of wands reversed kind of position and this card is crossed by so that's gonna be the, either the obstacles or an intensifier and we have judgment card and it's in a reverse position now this is a card about self-doubt self-depreciation fearing an error in judgment has taken place it's about false accusations and an unwillingness to learn from the past well this certainly has been uh, the story of late, of course, Ukraine has some self-doubt. They're in a fight for their life, right? 
They know if they can't expel this invader, things are going to go very badly. They have lost thousands and thousands and thousands of people. There are cities, large cities, that have been reduced to nothing but rubble. Uh, their population is suffering. Their government is like, if it wasn't for Western aid propping up the finances, uh, the place would have collapsed by now. So yeah, there's room for self-doubt in this one. I think those are two kind of bang on uh, opening cards for this reading. In the past, we have the Hermit in reverse. Hermit in reverse, this is about isolation and loneliness and, you know, withdrawal. And it certainly has been a fear, I am sure, in the Auntie Lang, is that the Western Allies are going to abandon Ukraine. That, you know, the West is getting bored and can't be bothered. You know, it's been two years in and they're just like, because they didn't kind of roll over and act like it was a video game and that we're down to the really, the really hard struggle where people are fighting like for every kilometer of land that's taken back and trying to defend their position. And then we've got, you know, allies saying, well, 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 we're not going to bother supporting you anymore. That must have been so demoralizing to listen to the, the rhetoric coming out of the GOP Republicans. In the future, things are starting to turn around. We have the world card. The world card, of course, is about completion and hopeful, wholeness and possibility and accomplishing good things and being connected. So we do have the, the West has come up and like Germany and another a number of other European nations have still been funneling stuff in. But you know, the Americans have kind of woken up and come back to the fight. So here we can kind of uh, feel encouraged as to what's going. So the ability to accomplish what they need to do, which is they need to have a total victory over uh, Russia, the invaders. And this is back into the realm of possibility. Now, in the sky of the rating, this is, of course, the overarching energy. This is the, the goals that we have. It's the what we're looking for. And we have the wheel. And the wheel is in an upright position. And this is more indicative that it is going to be good news. It's a card of good fortune when it is in its upright position. So we're looking at, you know, uh, karma, destiny, but again, this good fortune, luck, fortune, karma, however you want to look at, this is now on the side of Ukraine and pushing for it. And it can also indicate that there's a turning point because of course the wheel always cycles. And so we can have a turning point towards good. They really have been stalled and the Russians have had a chance to consolidate some. So let's see if this is a turning point and that the Ukrainians can put them uh, onto the back foot once again. In the foundation of the reading, we have the Ten of Swords and it's in a reversed position. This is a good sign because it's about resistance. And the Ukrainians have resisted this from day one. Like you remember way back, you know, before times, two years ago, we all expected, myself included, that Ukraine would crumble within three weeks. They didn't. They resisted. They have showed enormous perseverance and just continue on and on and God, they have taken it on the chin. There's no two ways about it. They have taken it on the chin and kept on moving. So this card, this Ten of Swords in reverse, this is about regeneration. They can move forward and they can rebuild. That is a very solid foundation to have underneath this reading. In the message from spirit what a beautiful message we have the ace of cups the ace of cups of course is about overwhelming emotions it's about creativity and it's about abundance and it's about fertility and it's about gifts that you are receiving well, of course all the aid that the ukrainians have received and this is a gift 
because uh, there hasn't been like any kind of lend lease program or something I'm sure that there will be uh, at the end of this there will be an accounting but we'll take it one step at a time first we need to win the war and then we can deal with winning the peace and in the environment one of my my favorites in the entire deck we have the knight of swords knight of swords of course he's about courage and tenacity and drive and action and he pushes and he moves he's a man of action he doesn't sit around and talk about stuff we're going to see some movement this summer absolutely and i think we'll see more movement on the part of the allies not boots on the ground nobody is willing to take on boots on the ground because you know if we start triggering article 5 this could become not a regional war but very quickly widespread so everybody is treading with a great deal of caution there but i think that there will be um a greater willingness to support Ukraine as much as we can. But again, I'm not looking for boots on the ground. In the hopes and fears department, we have the three of wands. Definitely, definitely a hope card. This is about expansion. You know, a bit of adventure and that sort of stuff. But it's about opportunities and moving with confidence into this um, these new adventures and having the wisdom of foresight, being able to, to see what you need to do and going for it. Absolutely love this energy. And our final card, the final outcome, little bit of a tiny downer. So let's not get ahead of our, you know, getting up over our skis. We have the King of Pentacles, Pentacles and he's in a reverse position. This is a card about that can be very harsh and you know materialism factors into it it can be about stinginess and that sort of stuff so the fight isn't order over critical materials are still going to be in short supply and the ukrainians are going to have to fight for every inch of ground that they take and it is going to be um it is going to be a very difficult um fighting season and hopefully the Ukrainians will have you know that ace of cups that abundance and the overwhelming emotions going with it they've got a lot in their corner right now and let's hope it continues on for them and shadow card that we have here this is the ten of cups and this is a card that's about family and in love and bliss and kind of harmony and people coming together and it's a big card about stability and um, things being solid so I really feel that you know the immediate crisis of the Americans playing waffle uh, is past at least for now surely for the rest of this Congress and we'll see how things shake out as we go so you know it's a good reading for ukraine i think um you know the only couple of points that we can look at and uh kind of worry about one is that king of pentacles things are still going to be tough and a material um aspect final outcome so this is going to be no walk in the park but there's a lot going for them the world card in the future the sky card being the wheel in an upright position which is you know good fortune and the turning point that's coming and the foundation where we had the ten of swords in a reverse position which is about perseverance and resistance and um rebuilding regeneration you know coming back from uh the fight and they got the knight of swords on the other side so you know what can go wrong and that is my look at the reading for today, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.